Hey, welcome back, folks. This is the guitar that I um, uh, discussed on Average Joe's weekly specials a couple of days ago. Um, this is the Guitar Center blowout of the Sigma um, acoustics, the solid top acoustics. Um, just got this, I think, yesterday. Um, shipped extremely fast from Guitar Center. Three days from the day I ordered it um, to the day it arrived on my stoop. Packed very well. Uh, double boxed the whole bit and uh, very pleased with the guitar um, it's a basic bare bone very good quality um, solid top acoustic guitar what I like about it is that it is extremely comfortable to play I love the shape of the guitar it's not too you know well, you can see here it's not really you know a, a big thick cumbersome bo body to play it's fairly thin um, it's obviously light, it, it sounds great, so let's talk about the guitar a little bit. So the model is Sigma 10 AVTS. Um, it's an orchestra model, folk style guitar body, so it's smaller than a dreadnought. And because it's smaller than a dreadnought, you don't have that full boomy bass sound or full, you know, full, full sound out of the guitar. A lot of singer-songwriters use this thing to write on. Um, it's a little bit more high-end, a little bit more um, treble and mids rather than less bass, but I like it. It sounds great. Um, I like the neck. It's very thin and comfortable to play. I like the way it looks. Um, it's got this little tortoise shell pick guard on it. Um, it has a solid Sitka spruce top. It has Sapele back and sides, and the grain on this guitar is really, really nice. You can see it has a gloss finish on... The, you know the back sides and the front of the guitar although not a really really heavy gloss which is nice and the neck is matte the finish on the neck is a matte finish which I like you can see here it's got a scarf joint well, towards the top of the neck on the neck um, now let's talk about the elephant in the room a lot of discussion on this guitar uh, about it advertised as having Grover tuners and a lot of people recently have bought these and said they don't have Grover tuners Fact of the matter is, they do not have Grover tuners. Okay, so you can see right here, these are not Grover tuners. They're they're not. They don't say Sigma. They don't say anything. They're unbranded, sealed tuners. However, I have bought the Dreadnought version of this guitar when they first came out off of Amazon. I have a review on the channel. Had Grover tuners on it. These tuners here are every bit as good as the Grover tuners on the other guitar that I had. Uh, the honest situation is with Grover tuners is when these import companies and import guitars from these companies are shipped, they're not putting on premium Grover tuners. These are lower end Grover tuners if they are in fact Grover tuners. A lot of these guitars, Zue and some of these other Chinese brands that are advertising Grover tuners, have Grover stamped on them, but I, I'll guarantee you, because I've tried many of them, that they're not Grover tuners. They sound and feel and they sound, they feel and perform like any other inexpensive tuner and in some cases even worse these tuners on here hold tune extremely well they don't slip or jump they tune to pitch very pleased they're probably 18 to 1 gear ratio is what I would imagine they're good solid tuners so I'm not worried that they're that they're not stamped Grover on this guitar um, what else do we have to talk about um, it has a rosewood fretboard and a rosewood bridge it's got a nice bone nut extremely well cut bone nut on the guitar um, X bracing inside it looks suspiciously like the old Martins right the OM Martins and it's done by design these guitars originally the Sigma guitars were originally part of the Martin line years and years ago they were their import line then Martin sold them off they went through a bunch of acquisitions over the years Alvarez had them, St. Louis Music had them, a whole bunch of companies had these guys for a while. I'm not quite sure who's got them now. They were exclusive to Amazon when they were relaunched. Now Guitar Center and Musician's Friends are selling them. But I can guarantee you that they're extremely well-made instruments. Great bang for the buck. For a little over $100, this is $119.99, they're as good as any um, that you're going to get at this price point. Where it's a solid top guitar with excellent tuners, a bone nut, and an extremely well-made instrument. For this price, you're going to probably be in the range of the, the, the lower end Fireflies, the Mono Prices, 
the um, the host of other budget brands that are on Amazon, um, lower end Yamahas, you name it. Now Yamahas are great quality guitars. I'm not going to knock them, but you're not going to get a solid top Yamaha at this price. And the fact that this guitar is extremely well made for this price is just crazy. I mean, at $199.99, it's a good price for this guitar. $119.99, I ran out and, and, and bought it. Definite, definite gr good price. Um, I mentioned that I like the neck. The neck is extremely comfortable. It's on the thinner side, which is what I like. The guitar is comfortable to hold. Let's uh, strum it a little bit so you can hear how the thing sounds. Um, but it, it resonates. It sounds, you know, it sounds nice for what I need it for. Price. I apologize for the dog. He obviously disagrees with the uh, guitar playing, but um, <laughs> very happy. I highly recommend this one. Um, the D A V T S Sigma Guitars. Go to Guitar Center online. One nineteen ninety nine. And again, guys, I'm not sponsored <laughs> by these things on my own dime, um, so I have no vested interest in this thing. I just thought it was a great, great opportunity great deal and I like to pass along what what I'm taking advantage of so if you find these reviews helpful guys useful please subscribe any questions on the guitar fire them below I'll answer them to the best of my ability and until the next time be well and stay safe take care <laughs>